like in the school? Uh, the buzz is good. Just the past week we've been uh, the first years and the t teachers and you see the banners outside and it's all really settling that we're in the Macquarie final and the buzz is great. Like It's good to get the buzz but we know we have a job to do so we fully focus for the 18th of March. I suppose it's good that there's a bit of time between the semi-final and the final because you can sort of have that buzz and have that hype and then you can sort of concentrate and knuckle down, especially this last 10 days of the final. Yeah, preparations are <coughs> going well. Um, getting the trainings in, we've a few challenge matches under our belt and preparations going very well. Uh, we have a lot of time to analyse Oma and see their strengths, see our strengths. And we also can analyse our weaknesses and know where we can do damage. And we know that if we put in a performance, we have the players to do it. Rich history of, of McCrory and St Michael's, is that something that the players are aware of? I uh, like we all sort of bite into the fact that St Michael's are one of the big dogs and Ulster College's football like so at the start of the year in Dom said we had a big chance, you know, with the rich history in the school, we knew straight away that we'd be kind of fighting for McCrory Cup. And um, a wee word on, on Oma Joe, um obviously the beat you in the McCormick Cup. Uh, semi-final was it? Aye. They banged in five goals that day, they banged in five goals there in the semi-final of the McCrory. It goes without saying that um, defensively you're going to have to be on your toes. Aye, they're, they're the inner side, like they've racked up some serious scores and across the whole competition, but I, I think we could, we could have a chance of stopping them if we you know, set up right and do, do our jobs properly, but aye, they're full forward line, it's dangerous enough, so it is. <laughs> Preparation's going well. It's been a long enough uh, time between the semi-final and the final. Uh, you have three and a half weeks. But we had to come down from the high of beating Mahara. Took a couple of days for that. And uh, then the focus then on Oma, which is a even tougher challenge. But we're looking forward to it. It's been the McCrory final. It's, it's brilliant. A great buzz around the school. Great atmosphere. And... Um, the boys are feeding off that. Absolutely, and uh, seven years since the last final, Dom. Um, sort of, it's a uh, it's a great fill up to the whole school as well. Oh, great boost! Um, I suppose you'd love to be in McCrory finals every three, four years or every other year, uh, but we are, you know, we're realistic enough to know that it doesn't happen like that. So, uh, no, no, we appreciate the time that we have now, uh, and we're looking to make the best out of it and. Certainly all the pupils around the school and staff, teaching staff, support staff have all, have all embraced it and are all mad keen to see us go out and perform to our very best on Monday. And the spirit in the squad's good, Tom? They've been together now, this group, from early September. Maybe we had our first, first trial about the 10th of September and uh, they've, worked, they've worked tremendously hard. A great committed bunch, made great sacrifices. Um, Saturday mornings, Tuesdays, Thursdays, doing the gym sessions, early morning sessions. So um, no, no, just couldn't fault them and everything that they've got so far has been well earned, well deserved. And um, But they're a mature bunch as well and they know that there'll be nothing handed out. Just because we got to a final doesn't say that anything will be handed out in it. We really need a, our best 60 minutes of the season yeah. uh, to get across this Oma challenge.